Alright, so just for shits and giggles, here's the uh, what Guitar Pro 6 actually sounds like. We've got a couple, I think all the instruments are actually using um, RSE, or Realistic Sound Engine, uh, presets that I configured. It's probably based on other things and then modified, but they actually have effect chains um, with uh, some simulated guitar and bass amps and cabs, uh, various effects pedals, you know, all, all simulated, not that well. Compressor, equalizer, reverb, that's about it really. And you can move them around in the chain and they all have a bunch of settings. So, got these to sound really about as good as can be expected from really, really, like, bottom of the barrel. Um, samples and and your instrument samples and uh effect chain simulation for guitars and drums and they've the company that made guitar pro also produced a whole bunch of um a whole bunch of instrument samples we've got a bunch of guitars all with different um pickup uh, positions, neck, neck and bridge, bridge, or if they have a center pickup, neck, neck middle, middle, middle bridge, bridge, Stratocaster, uh, Rickenbacker, Les Paul, they have some seven string guitars, they added um, fretless bass, five string bass, a bunch of stuff. Anyway, what do I have this set to? And they have samples for up and down, uh, up and down strokes, picking, palm muting, a bunch of effects that are automatically applied based on the transcription. So, for instance, here's the guitar. And the lead. change it to uh, a different preset clean channel with some delay about it and then there's the drums or, or the bass rather you can kind of hear the difference in up and down stroke picking and they have you can set it to finger uh, to simulate being played with the finger So it's a lot softer on the attack, and it doesn't have the uh, subtle kind of pick scrape against the string. But I generally just go with picking because it cuts through the mix a lot better, at least in, in terms of Guitar Pro. And there's the drums. And they added a couple other sets, but the original one is really the best sounding, I think, relatively speaking. skips when you change mid change the sample set mid uh, playback Let's see what these sound like not too bad I don't think all of the dynamics are recorded 
quite as uh, equally. Like sometimes a certain symbol or a certain um, a certain dynamic, like pianissimo or something, will be too loud or too quiet or something on some of these other samples. Let's see. Got a hi hat sounds too quiet to me. That snare is way too quiet. So I just stick with the original. So, here's the song. Uh, it's not going to sound pretty. That's as far as uh that's as far as I've got. And um let's see, where does it continue here? More than halfway, I think about three quarters through. I gotta put that bend in. That's fun. Don't crash on me, Guitar Pro. Please? Okay, good. Alright, let's see. You got measure 81. It's at 84. That's the last four bars before. Comes back to the bridge. 283 84 yep, it's a uh what is it e flat oh wait no it's it's uh Six 
music on karaoke to uh, cancel out the stereo channels to get uh, or to cancel out the not the stereo cancel out the the center the vocals and drums basically and you just get the guitars real loud <laughs> Really useful for transcribing the guitar. I think it's an open string, and they're pulling the whammy bar up, bending it three semitones. Goes from a B flat to an A flat. Let's see. No, it's not a bend. I mean, it's not a left-hand bend, it's a whammy. Tremolo bar. There. And it's not a dive, it's uh, pulling it up, so it's going to go like that. Pretty quickly. Whoa. Oh, that's not, that's not measuring in semitones, that's... Um, What am I trying to say? Whatever. That's steps, not semitones. So it's one and a half steps, three semitones. It's over two quarter notes, a half note. It's kind of a pre-dive. Let's pull it up. One and a half, and then it'll... I can't. Maybe I should just mark it as a bend. Get more control over it. Pre-bend and release would make more sense. Yeah, one and a half. And it's dividing it here. If it's uh, a half note, then here we have eighth notes. So eight, eight, quarter, quarter, half. Pulls it up pretty quick. And then it releases over the last eighth note, maybe. Maybe uh, dotted eight, three sixteen, something like that. Let's try that. Have a rest, see how that sounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I'll just mark that as uh using the bend um thing, but uh 'cause I get more control out of that than with the tremolo bar. Because you can't pre bend or pre dive and then release with this. Like, I can't set this up to start, you know, at, uh, at least I don't think I can. Let's see. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. There it is. <laughs> Shows what I know. All right, well. I guess I will use that. I didn't see they were pushed together like that. Okay. Unfortunately, this isn't uh, <laughs> not marked the same way in terms of uh, note length. So just have to eyeball it. All right, one and a half. It's pulled up immediately. And releases about halfway. That's about right, I think. Yeah. 
I don't need the text. All right. No. Put wood comes back in. Let's see. I need to see if both guitars are uh, playing that bend as well. Check the channels left. Sounds like the bass is doing it too, actually, I think. Yeah, both guitars. I'm not sure about the bass. And where's my spectrum? Unless the bass has a whammy, I'm not quite sure how they're going to do that. Unless they bend it from the first fret or something. Or actually stress the neck and actually bend that, but that's not advisable. thinking if the bass was maybe playing an open B flat. I don't think it is though. Although it could just be playing like that. Make sure they're not speeding up as well. Oh, this is turning into a fucking live stream, isn't it? All right, let's see. Calculate the tempo again. Still 126. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. <laughs>